where the old library used to sit is actually, I think, Tai Tung Village right now. Boston Chinatown had a branch library. Um, they started with a reading room, I think, in the 1930s. And then, um, then they were able to have a branch library. And then in the 1950s, um, some of the, there was uh, information about closing a lot of the branches. And it turned out that a lot of the branches that were closed were um, branches in communities of color like Chinatown. So in the 1950s, the permanent branch was closed and we haven't had a um, permanent branch library since then. Progressive Association, known as CPA, painted this newspaper box for everyone in Chinatown to take a book and give a book. They brought it to Chinatown Gate and everyone loves it. The purpose of this box is to show that Chinatown doesn't have a library and all they have is a book exchange. And I committed in the primary, which I commit again in the general, to make sure that we bring a library to your neighborhood so that you have the opportunity to enjoy a library in this community. What I imagine is a beautiful building that is in a location in Chinatown where there's a lot of foot traffic and so it's well utilized, you know, kind of in the center of the community. Um, I imagine that it's a building that when you walk in, you see, you know, your identity as a Chinese and Chinese American reflected in the artwork, in the, ex in the cultural exhibitions, in the books. Um, I see it as this community gathering space. So I see the elderly, you know, sitting around talking to each other. I see youth hanging out and having fun. I see parents, you know, reading books to their children. I see, you know, people doing, you know, n innovative things on the, the internet. You know, when I think about a library, I, I think a lot about its, um, you know, its mission that it's, you know, free for all, right? And libraries are democratic institutions. I think an elementary classroom from Mattapan that heard about um, the story that Chinatown didn't have a library and they realized that it was an issue of equity, right? That they really love and support their branch library in Chinatown. And so then that, that, um, that classroom um, I think collaborated with, the, with some of the youth in Chinatown, I think through the Chinatown Youth Initiative, and they actually had a march and a protest to City Hall to, again, you know, show the support um, for the Chinatown Library. And I could say too that I've been at meetings where a lot of other um, Chinese residents, they're also, you know, they're, they're skeptical um, about whether we will ever have a branch library or their, um, you know, they're frustrated um, because the campaign for a library has been going on since 2001 and it's 2017 right now and we have both temporary library services coming to China Trade and we also have um, a feasibility, feasibility study for a permanent branch library coming. But people are quite frankly tired of waiting. They're, they're really tired of waiting. <laughs>